welcome back to Ask an Otaku, where we are talking today about anime con experiences. This is your chance to call in and talk about some of the experiences you've had with anime conventions. Maybe little, maybe a lot, but what are some of your most, most remarkable anime con experiences? If you're watching this right now, feel free to call in to Otaku Questions. Uh, let me know what your, um, uh, what your Skype handle is in the chat room and I will add you in, uh, or you, you can just go ahead and call me up at Otaku Questions. But let me know first uh, in the chat room if you want to join in, and uh, let me know what are some of the experiences that are most memorable for you, positive or negative, although we'll try not to get too negative about con stereotypes and such, but um, what are some of the things that really stick out to you? Because, um, you know, anime cons are certainly memorable experiences. There's a lot there that's... Uh, that's uh, you know, in, in terms of, I think, it, it's a time for a lot of firsts in a lot of ways, where you see a lot of folks who like the kinds of stuff you like, and uh, realizing that they're kind of like you but not so much is kind of odd. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it should be quite interesting. Um, there, there's, there's lots of stuff. We've got, uh, uh, in, in terms of experience, I mean, crowds are different. Um, what else is, is unusual? Um, anime you may have seen, you didn't expect to have seen. I had a great one, um, a, a great experience with, uh, with an anime that I'll, I'll share at some point if, if no one joins in just, just yet. Um, um, so for some folks, First chance to see uh, anime music videos. You sometimes a, a you know a surprise, what those are like. Surprises with Artist Alley, the food, the food can sometimes be a, a bit of a shock, particularly, particularly the price of food often. You know, betting with other folks, not necessarily bet in that sense. Come on, guys, but uh, you know, eight people all trying to squeeze into a two-person hotel room can be fun. The, the legendary con parties, which I've never really been to, but I think something that would count, seeing experiences of other folks who, uh, who've who been involved. Yeah, go ahead, Mike, you can, go, you can, you can call in. And uh, we'll talk about, about stuff. Well, there's certainly plenty of, uh, plenty of things out there. There he is. Hello. Hello. So what's your con experience there, Mike? Um, it's several, but it's only in one con. I wasn't okay. able to go to QuietCon last year, but the year before that I went. Mm -hmm. um, and I, decided, I just went with one of my friends. Uh, lots of things happened that just, it was amusing, mm -hmm. because, like, the first thing that happened, she, uh, my friend does jump style, and I do break dancing. I also did, uh, shuffling back then. Okay. And so, he just randomly started dancing, so I started dancing, and then a, uh, person cosplaying as Miku started doing one of Miku's dances. Nice. And then a break dancer challenged me to a break break dance battle and then she's like we just got this like entire dance party going in the middle of um the main floor cool <laughs> and it was like some of the some of the people cosplaying just like danced for the character and it was, uh, it was it was just amazing how that worked out that is very cool how long did it last um it lasted about 30 minutes until wow. they needed the floor for something else and yeah yeah and actually that was the second thing that was really amusing was mm. uh it was a zombie run kind of thing. Oh. Basically, there's a whole bunch of, I don't know how big this crowd was, but it was mm. huge mm. of people following, like, these three survivor kind of people. Oh, interesting. Um, who are running from them, and I somehow got caught up in running from them. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, four people from uh, a corner popped out, like, Secret Service looking people with these uh, fake pistols shooting at the, well, quote unquote, shooting at the zombies. Interesting. So it was like a whole little, uh, uh, you know, sort of mini play going on, if you will. 
pretty much. And yeah. then just uh, and then uh, a bunch of like uh, when I was there. Uh, there's several Haruhi cosplayers, as mm. would be expected, mm -hmm. and I would go up to every single one of them and uh, do like the whole kneeling thing and say "My Lord." Nice. And I would go up to hu and hug every single companion cube. Ah, cool. But, uh, for the con experiences, it was just like generally an all-around great experience. Mm. That's good. Uh, Any negative experiences that you can think of? Uh, other than meeting Vic Mignogna, but that wasn't actually that big of a deal to me. Mm. Other people were like, oh my god, I met mm. Vic Mignogna. I'm yeah. like, cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. None that I can think of since there's only one con a year. Yeah, yeah. And it's, I mean, uh, I mean, I could go into, like, the con experiences of uh, the little things, but mm. mostly those are the big things that I remember that were really fun. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that's interesting. Have you ever seen anything like that uh, with, with, like, a scene playing out before? That's the first I've heard of that. Um, well, that was my first and only con I've been yeah, to. Yeah, true. That's interesting, though. I wonder if that's uh, common to other cons. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, well, thanks for calling. That's very interesting. Mm-hmm. Cool. So, yeah, that's interesting that there's uh, that whole... Uh, see, anyone else in the, uh, in the chat room ever heard of an anime con where, or anything where there's, a, where there's a scene? You can just go ahead and, and call me Dark. Just go ahead and give me a call. Thanks for asking. And that, that whole dance battle thing, that's really cool. I wonder if that was, um, you know, it must have been arranged with the con. I wonder, I'm, you know, I wonder if the con put it on or if folks asked if it was okay uh, with, you know, with the con, con folks. Hello. Hello. So what's your con experiences? Um, well, my first time going to um, London Expo, Anime mm -hmm. Expo, mm -hmm. when my brother took me three years ago when I was 12. Okay. Um, I was chased by a man <laughs> cosplaying as a Sailor Moon character. Oh, okay, yeah. And he was chasing me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then... Uh, because at first I was just walking through the entrance. Um, I see this guy. He's pretty fat, mm -hmm. uh, I would say. And then he, he was just shouting, saying, free hugs here, free hugs. Uh, mm -hmm. And he's shouting. And then, and then uh, since I was pretty young and I uh, looked pretty innocent, mm. uh, he chased me. Uh. <laughs> Asking for a hug and everyone. And my brother, he didn't even care. Mm -hmm. And stuff. So, and the other experience is when my friend, mm -hmm. um, he his hair was pretty. He had a pretty Asian hair. Okay. With like a pretty crazy anime-ish hair, but mm -hmm. it was his normal hair. <laughs> he oh, okay, went, yeah. He just went there. Yeah. Um, not cosplaying as anyone, just a day to hang out. Mm -hmm. And then everyone was. Um, mistaking him as L from Death Note. <laughs> <laughs> so every time um so every time he he was walking or he would be out in the open, they would ask him for free hugs, <laughs> telling him to take pictures with them <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> it was it was been, it was an embarrassing moment. <laughs> I can imagine. Did, did he eventually like get into it? No, cuz <laughs> he didn't know much about anime, he uh. didn't even know anything about Death Note, <laughs> just went to Anime Expo dressed normally <laughs> as he is. Ah, uh, that's funny, that, that's interesting. Any and then, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> and then, um, uh, there's, when I went there, there's, there were a lot of um, memes, like <laughs> Car Caramel Dance and... Oh, okay. Like, in every corner, every, someone is dancing to that. Mm -hmm. And Hey uh, Hey, Yukai, you The Lucky mm -hmm. Star, mm -hmm. um, Dance. Everyone was just dancing in Anime Expo, and it was just so fun. Yeah, uh, when was this? Um, 
Well, last year, I went last year in okay. October. Mm-hmm. And, well, I'll go every year now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that, that, that makes sense. I mean, that, that's been uh, a big thing for a while, is, is having these, uh, th- these dancing. I think it's fun. It's one of those things that just sort of, you know, you, you do spontaneously, and you just start, and, you know, why not? That's cool. Cool. Well, thanks for, thanks for joining us. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye. That is funny. I, I love that, uh, that, that chat, um, the, 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 whole, the whole dance thing, rather. That, that's a lot of fun. Um, we have a lot of things. Um, sorry, Brad. No, uh, no guest hosts on the show. Gotta, gotta give some room to the, uh, to the other folks to call in. Have any, uh, any con experiences? Lola, you want to come? Oh, yeah. Nothing from Lola this week. Her, her mic is, is broken. What is there to do at an anime con? Good question, Hood is asking. What, what to do at an anime con? Have you ever been to one? Um, some of the stuff they have there I- includes they'll show anime, uh, older stuff as well as newer stuff, some fan subs, some legitimate, or some, some license, if you will. Um, there'll be an artist alley, a lot of artists there um, showing off their art, which you can actually buy. Pretty much everything you see here. I bought an artist alley, and it's usually a couple of bucks per, you know, per, per little mini poster like, like these things. Um, they'll also have panels, so you'll get to see folks uh, come in and talk about some particular topic. Um, you know, it might be about giant robots, or about the history of anime, or, uh, you know, the, the philosophy of the Angelian, things like that. Um, I've done a few panels, run a few panels like that. Um, you can also see anime music videos, where folks have put together... Um, anime to music, which you, I'm sure you've seen those online. But these will, this will be an actual contest <coughs> where folks will make a video specifically for the con that, um, uh, um, in other words, something that hasn't been broadcast before but is getting premiered here at the con. So that's exciting. Um, you also get um, panels and talks with voice actors. So if, you, if you ever want to meet some of the, the cool voice actors out there, like Vic Vignana and Christian Freeman and... Uh, Many of the others, they're, you know, uh, they often attended these conventions. Uh, what else? Um, eat expensive convention hotel food. Uh, let's see here. Um, uh, what else? There's plenty of other things. Um, I'm, I'm, my mind is, is blanking at the moment. Um, oh, and of course, of course, there is the dealer's room, where a lot of... Uh, of, of, of uh, folks will be selling anime trinkets, uh, you know, posters, wall scrolls, hoodies, you name it. It's probably going to be there at, at, at that. So, yes. So, there's, there's lots of different opportunities to, to, to do that. There's usually a dance. Um, manga library. Good point. Yeah, they'll often have a bunch of manga sitting there you can go in and read, which is pretty darn cool, uh, all for free. And uh, so lots of different opportunities, lots of different opportunities. You can spend money or just go to the panels, hang out and, you know, do that. And a lot of folks will just come and, and get together. I'm going to try to do an Otaku no video get together at Otakon this year, which is the big anime convention on the east coast of the U.S. See if I can get a few folks from here. Anyone who wants to, to join me for that would be awesome. And uh, uh, so, you know, there's a lot of folks will do those sort of, you know, those get togethers at the con, just, you know, go out for lunch, uh, and just chat, things like that. A good, you know, a good chance to to connect. So, you know, that's some of the stuff to do. A lot of a lot of options, a lot of possibilities. Um, good question. When is Otakon? Otakon is going to Otakon.com. Uh, July 29th through the 31st of this year. So Friday through Sunday. Yeah, it's fun if you go alone too. I've gone to quite a few cons alone, and those are fun as well. You get to meet people. You know, you get to Find folks who have uh, uh, similar interests, which is nice. So, cons are cool. Yeah, so, so the, uh, one of the anime, uh, while you guys are thinking of, of your stories, um, so while I was at, must have been Otakon a bunch of years ago, I, I stumbled into a... Uh, uh, a, a, sh- a, a room that was showing an anime. I'm going to make sure I'm getting this right. Um, I believe it's called Piano. Um, 
I think that's the one. Let me, let me just check this. Um, no, that's not it. Um, no, it's not piano. I, I, oh, oh, no. Um, there was an anime I watched, and that now it's probably gone to the midst of time. It, basically, you know, tween girl gets transported to alternate reality. It is being taken over by a big monster. Um, and uh, it, is, it was clearly fan-subbed. And it's like a two-episode OVA. One of these things from the, from the mid-90s that was sort of thrown out there just to be thrown out there. And um, th th it had such lines as um, uh, they're trying to kill this monster uh, that's been sleeping for a long time. The main character is, um, is saying, uh, yes, that's why I wanted to make him sleep with my piano. Like, that's not right. Uh, <laughs> And um, I'm trying to figure, figure, remember what the other one. There are a few other lines like that where everyone just sort of gasped uh, and, and, and laughed. And it was just, you know, cheesy animation and terrible storytelling, uh, weird stories, um, just, just bizarre, you know, uh, really cheesy. But one of those things, everyone was just having fun. Everyone was, was laughing um, and just really, you know, enjoying the cheesy anime that nobody really cared about. Um, and, and it's sad because I'm sure there were a couple of fans who were like, this is my favorite anime ever. But uh, that, that, that was a lot of fun. We also watched some of a Popo La Croix, which is an adaptation of a video game, actually, um, which is this, only an anime, man. Um, it's about the prince of a young kingdom and uh, goes on adventures. And in this story, there's this princess he's trying to protect, and she's kind of all annoying. Um, and uh, uh, it's this very kid-oriented anime. There are a couple of talking vegetables that, that wander around with them. And then there's this moment where the main character just um, stumbles upon one of the other characters who's just sort of sitting out there. And there's this moment where she's just sitting there, being very quiet, mourning the death of her people. Turns out she's like the last person left alive of these people. And she just has this quiet, reflective moment with him. And it's just... Yeah. So it, it's like, you know, just, you know, cheesy little kid show. It was, it was very odd. Just all sorts of emotions thrown into one pot and mixed. And then it would be, you know, goofy talking vegetables again. Strange, strange anime. Also, really weird uh, character design. The, um, the eyes are um, just like ovals that are split into two pieces. Strange. So that was one of those, okay, I have no idea. No idea. Cosplay is fun to watch, too. It's fun to watch people cosplay. I've seen, um, um, I have seen, and I forget what they call, but the uh, old guys who dress as Sailor Scouts. Um, I've seen some really nice, I saw a uh, Ryoko from Tenchi Moyo, which is from the 90s, like last year, which was, which was awesome. Uh, um, Vash is always popular. Um, Bebop's not as popular as it used to be, actually. There used to be a lot of Bebop cosplayers, but those are kind of trailed off. Um, same thing with DBZ. DBZ cosplay has kind of died off, mostly. Uh, a lot of Gurren Lagann in the past few years. A lot of uh, Oran and Hitalia, obviously. So, Naruto, definitely. Naruto is popular. Bleach, somewhat. You know, Bleach certainly gets its cosplayers, but not a, not a, not a whole lot. Edward from Fullmetal Alchemist, that gets a, a, a good number. Yeah, Vocaloids have quite the cosplay uh, uh, contingent. Don't know what it is, um, but there's just something about that that really gets cosplayers, you know, going. It gets, it gets them hot. I don't know. It's just uh, I think it's because those have really um, distinctive outfits that are really interesting to uh, to make. So I've seen some Gundam characters. I've seen one or two Gundams as well. Not really, because Avatar is not really anime, so uh, don't really see a lot of that. Yeah, you can do the different outfits. Yeah, good Hatsune Miku is, is cute. Yeah, definitely. I've seen Cowboy Gundam once or twice, but it's kind of an old meme at this point. It's kind of played itself out. But I have seen one or two Gundams. It's impressive. That is nice. I've seen a few Game Boys, but not playable ones. 
Wow, an eight foot playable Game Boy. That's awesome. Seen some Pocky, Pocky containers. Fair amount of uh, Goth Loli, too. Um, fortunately, no hard, uh, uh, not a lot of like the, the weird Harajuku fashions, but a fair amount of, of Goth Loli uh, stuff. What kind of uh, other interesting cosplay have you guys seen? Yeah, what's the weirdest cosplay you've ever seen? Um, me personally, weirdest cosplay. Well, weirdest for an anime con was probably somebody cosplaying Rorschach. Um, it's a weird character. What else? Yeah, Pedro Bear is just, yeah, not right. Um, I don't think what else? I haven't seen a lot of really weird, I think it would be the, um, you know, 40-year-old male sailor scouts with, like, the unshaven legs and all that. That was the weirdest. It was just, it was just weird. And it was all of them. It was, you know, all, it was all five of the core ones. Yeah. Actually, and this is funny, Asian girls can cosplay, like, as anything, male or female. There's something about Asian girls, they can just pull off, like, any character ever. It's really strange. If you go looking at, like, the Asian cosplayers... You know, all of the all the ones that, like really look like the character. It's always uh, an Asian girl. Something about just the the art style. It's funny. No, oh, feel like I dress as Yoko. Yeah, that would be weird. Yeah, that really wouldn't wouldn't work well uh, at all. Yeah, I haven't actually seen any cross-play uh, costumes, now that I think about it. It's not really a big cosplay thing, is it, to, to, to um, explicitly and, you know, obviously cross-play. It may be a girl playing a male character, but it's not like she's trying to be a, you know, do that. Full cast of Haruhi Genderbender. Nice. Nice. I've seen a few Haruhi... Actually, to be honest, I usually... I have rarely seen really accurate Haruhi cosplayers. You know, most of them are having too much fun, frankly. They just don't look like the cast very, very much, unfortunately. Um, it's kind of hard to do that. Um, hard to play those characters properly. You know, because, frankly, those are, those are very odd characters, so it's hard to, to find people who actually carry themselves the way Haruhi does, or Mikuru, or any of the others. Also, the height difference is hard. You know, Yuki's short. Quite short. Mm. Well, plenty of opportunities for guys, but, that, you know, uh, one of the problems with, with male characters is they generally have less flashy uh, clothing. So you can, you can cosplay as them, but they're generally, you know, harder to distinguish from the others because they're wearing, you know, generic school uniform um, and, you know, normal hair. So... Yeah. A lot of the anime are made for, for guys. So, you know, the girls are the ones that have to have the distinctive character designs, not so much the guys, because only one guy. Or only a few. So, options are limited. But you can, I mean, you can always do Char. Lots of Gundam characters you can cosplay as. Macross, too. Pretty well. You know, the, the Mecha series are pretty, uh, pretty easy to cosplay as. But the rest, it's, it's, it's more difficult. Particularly, the, the, you know, all the Moe stuff. You know. Cosplaying as a guy from K-On. You know, are there any like significant recurring male characters in K-On? Can't think of one. The lucky star, you can at least be um, um, Kanata's father. I didn't know Ritsu had a brother. There we go. So you can do that one. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's the issue. You know. But you got, you know, you got some of the fantasy animes out there as well, which has some male characters. So. But yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's tough. The options are just not much, uh, 
There's a bunch of there for the guys. But then again, the guys can always cross play if they wanted to. But yeah, the the the, the uh, you know the body shapes usually don't fit very well. Interesting how how girls can crossplay as guys fairly well, but guys not so much. It's odd, very odd. But yeah, cosplay is a uh, it's a fun thing. I've only ever cosplayed once, and it did not work out very well to be honest. So I haven't done it again. Wouldn't mind, but don't want to go to the expense of uh, or time to put away the uh, put together the costume. That's one of the reasons a lot of folks do it. You know, it, it's a fun thing, but it does take time or money. So, a fair number of folks don't, don't quite do that, so, which is fine. Yeah, and, and, and making a costume that's practical is hard as well. You know, it's difficult to come up with something that really, really comes together as a, uh, you know, as an outfit and you, you can wear. Um, you know, Christian Freeman has the the story of the uh, shower scene ray that I've told a few times. I think that's not good. And you're not gonna, you know, you're not gonna last in the uh, in the con very long. Yeah, and you, you, well, something you can stay in for eight hours or ten or twelve or sixteen. You know, cons are long. I had one. I I was in line actually once with with a girl who was cosplaying a different uh, person each day, and she had the advantage of that is that you know. Uh, at least your outfits are changing, and um, uh, and, she, and she played folks like uh, she played uh, Ed from uh, uh, Edward Wong, how to the Fourth from uh, Cowboy Bebop, Radical Edward. Um, so that's a, pr a pretty easy outfit, and it's basically you know simple clothes. So that, that's that's handy. But yeah, cons are an, an interesting place. Any other, any other uh, con experiences before we wrap it up for the day? Let's see what, we, what we've got. The, uh, the room has moved on to, to discussions of Pirates vs. Ninjas. It's an, 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 an eternal debate which we will not end here. So I think that will do it for this week, for th this episode of Ask an Otaku. We will do this again in two weeks, hopefully, if all works out. Talking about more stuff for Otaku. Maybe we can pick something that uh, folks have a bit more experience in. We'll see what we can do. Get a bit more discussion going, and it should be fun. So thanks all for joining us. We will see you next time. Take care.